Vidita Vaidya, I'm a neuroscientist professor at the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. Um, at home, we often had science and medicine around our dining room conversations. But I would say it was about when I was 13 years old that I got interested in the brain. And eventually, over time, that coalesced into an interest in neuroscience, and I found myself doing a PhD in neuroscience. Um, I don't think I was a naughty child, really, but I was always a child who knew her own mind, and that if someone told me, this is what you should do, I might find myself asking why I should do it. We very actively pursue in the lab is to ask how drugs that treat some psychiatric disorders like depression and anxiety, how do they work? I had parents who believed in all possible horizons and dreams for me, and I knew I was unusual. I knew that I was not the standard story of the young girl in India. And yet, many young Indian girls don't even have the opportunity to uh, equal education, an equal nutrition, and equal access to any opportunities. Be true to the fact that in addition to being a scientist, you are a mother, you are a daughter, you are a wife, you are a sister. You have many other roles you play and you need to fulfill those. We've created an environment which is catering to the men, and we're expecting women to bend everything that they do to fit into a system that is actually meant and catering for men. The guilt is an impossible one, you just live with it. You accept that there will be moments you're away from your child, but you do your best not to miss the important events in your child's life. So my advice to any young girl is stay true to that young version of yourself that believed in anything being possible, because if you're true to that, then it's likely that no matter what question life throws at you, you'll be able to navigate and handle it. We need diversity in science with representation from people who have had experiences from all walks of life. So I would say that there's no question science needs women, science needs diversity.